Halloween is upon us, and Orion Township Parks and Recreation got in on the fun by inviting families to their annual Boo Bash event at the Orion Center. On the evening of Friday, October 19th, 125 kids and their family members arrived at the Orion Center for the 10th annual Boo Bash. Kids ranging in age from one to eight years old enjoyed cider and donuts, carnival games, trick-or-treating, and face painting. Families were able to hop on board a hayride where they were taken to a pumpkin patch. The first Boo Bash was held in 2008 in Friendship Park and moved to the Orient Center in 2012. I think it's a good event for kids because they can kind of pick and choose what they want to do. They can, you know, go out to the pumpkin patch, they can play games all night. There's really no structure to it. So it's kind of like a free-for-all and kids get to dress up and have fun. One of the highlights of the evening was the opportunity to see some live creepy creatures, including bats and snakes. The animals were provided by the Leslie Science and Nature Center in Ann Arbor and sponsored by Waste Management. Uh, I have two species of bats with me today. I have uh, Egyptian fruit bats and a straw collared fruit bat, two African species that are excellent seed dispersers out in their local habitats. Usually the big thing we try to do when we bring a variety of wildlife, whether it's for Halloween or for a different program, is to learn how not only can we interact with these animals, but how we can learn to appreciate them as wild animals. We try to see if we can challenge those fears or learn that we don't have to have to be afraid of these animals or that without them things might change in our lives and so that they are important to us in various ways. So that's usually our biggest goal when we bring wildlife into our spaces and programs. I hope they walk away with a good time. Um, you know, it's a little different than your typical trunk or treat event. It's, you know, a little bit more than that. So it's just a good time for kids to kind of have fun dressed up and, you know, have good Halloween fun. The Boo Bash has become so popular that the event sold out quickly, forcing organizers to turn away many families. They're hoping to add a second event next year to meet demand. Just a few days later, families were invited to downtown Lake Orion to take part in a longtime tradition. On Wednesday, October 24th, hundreds of costume kids and parents gathered at the Eamon Center for the start of the annual Halloween parade. Participants made their way down Broadway Street with Police Chief Jerry Narsh leading the way in the department's 1941 Ford police car. In the downtown area, businesses handed out candy to the trick-or-treaters, and families were able to enjoy cider and donuts in the gazebo in Children's Park. Happy Halloween. We are here in downtown Lake Orion, and it's the Halloween parade. And at 6 o'clock, we had a bunch of kids all dressed up in costume and some, uh, some dogs dressed up in costumes, and the cops in their fancy, fancy cars um, ready to go down Broadway. We walked all the way down Broadway to here. This is Children's Park in downtown Lake Orion, and we are now serving um, cider and donuts. Um, and the kids get to trick-or-treat right across the way in the Children's Park parking lot trick-or-treat area and then all the way back up the um, Broadway and all through downtown with the stores. Um, downtown Lake Orion is so happy to have all of you here. Happy Halloween. Enjoy yourselves. I hope you um, have a great time. During the event, Lake Orion police officer Todd Stanfield surprised everyone when he got down on one knee to propose to his girlfriend. Are you going to say the same answer? <laughs> I think she said yeah. 